Hello, I'm Neve Owens. Welcome to the Liberty A-League Highlights Show. Canberra United absolutely owned February, taking all nine points from the nine on offer as their late push for a spot in the finals continues. So let's head to McKellar Park to kick off round 16. A win for the home side would put them level on points with Melbourne Victory, who have a bye this week. Standing in their way is Adelaide United, who need a win to cling on to their own faint finals hopes. Calling all the action is Taryn Heddo. Look to launch the ball into the box at that target, Heyman, but it's Milivojevic who's had a touch in the box and has been brought down. And the referee has awarded a penalty early on in this game. Grace Ma to take and in. Canberra United take the early lead at home. And as things stand, they are equal on point with fourth. This late charge to the finals has taken another step. Grace Ma, launch it long. And Nikki Flannery in some space. Can she find options? She cuts it back, a shot deflection and in. Was the final touch off Michelle Heyman? It was her 80th goal for Canberra United. Her 92nd in the A-League women. Ball over the top now and a shot and it's in. Wonderful from Adelaide. And it's Katie Bowler with her first A-League women's goal in her first start. And there is life in this game yet. Be very tight to the keeper, Sasaki. She'll swing it in on the penalty area. McCormick with a free header over the crossbar. She should have hit the target there, Jenna McCormick, and she knows it. Long diagonal, looking for Flannery. Wonderful touch from Nikki Flannery. She'll launch it into the back post. Heyman! Michelle Heyman does it again. A diving header from Michelle Heyman restores Canberra's two-goal advantage. Ball in now for Adelaide. Back post, header, and it's a goal! Another goal in this game! Mariska Waldis. Jale now, long throw. Milivojevic chasing it down. Waldis bundled over. Milivojevic cross back post. Flannery couldn't get the header under control. Grove was beaten. Ball over the top, cleared, although it's shot and oh, just wide. It was Barbieri on her left. A golden opportunity. Oh, and Laura Hughes and Michelle Heyman both in so much space. Hughes, Hughes, a saved from Annalie Grove. Ball dinked into the penalty area. Shouts for handball against Ilioski. Keely Richards forced to come out and claim. Looks like their goal scoring doom from earlier in the season may be slightly relaxing, but Oh, after conceding three goals today, it might be more. Michelle Heyman, Michelle Heyman gets a hat-trick. She points to the sky. She is simply undeniable in this competition. Adelaide, last chance saloon here for the Reds. Ball in, head up, post. And Richards claims so close. For Adelaide United, Dylan Holmes cannot hide her disappointment. They want that three points. And it is full time at McKellar Park. It is Canberra United four, Adelaide United two. Last week, the Jets were thumped 6-0 at the hands of Western United. And things don't get any easier for the side from the Hunter as the might of Melbourne City comes to town. City, welcome back. Maria Rojas, who has been sorely missed since she went on international duty in late December. And Holly McNamara returns to the side and straight back into the starting lineup after working her way back from a torn ACL 12 months ago. Georgia Radjic is your commentator. Agnew Gooch still has the ball. Gooch goes for a shot, but Davis for, hits the crossbar. And Newcastle are so hungry. Lara Gooch with an opportunity comes off the foot of Bowen. And Davis really trying to step up as a captain there. 
Polisina moving through. Finds McNamara in the center of the box. McNamara, she squares it back. Polisina hits the crossbar. Rojas, who else? But Maria Cota Rojas. She's back in the Liberty Valley League and she scores for Melbourne City. And a team goal in the end for Melbourne City. Their, new, their players who have returned, Holly McNamara and Maria Karatai Rojas, they team up for this goal. Grosso on the wing. McNamara is there. Grosso tries to have a shot. Just goes over the top. Julia Grosso, she's yet to score in the Liberty A-League. But that very well could have been her maiden. A-League women goal. McNamara. She's just McNamara, Georgie Webb stands up tall. She has her point to prove this week and she's proving it well. An attempt there. And another save from, and a double save from Georgie Worth. She stands up tall. She is applauded by her defenders. Katera Haas releases Blissett on the side. Blissett crosses in. Policina, is this an opportunity for her? Julian Worth again with another save. Blissett crosses in. And it will be a Melbourne City corner. McKenna just let Johnson go straight past her. Johnson again from range. She saw what Hannah Wilkinson just did and said, why not let me have a shot at it too? Cotera Haas. Wilkinson to McKenna. Just steadily moving the ball down and across the pitch. Torpy goes for the cross. And Wilkinson, Polisina, what can she do here? Polisina! And Rihanna Polisina has scored Melbourne City's second goal of the day. A brilliant curling effort. Blissett, we come again, and Briley Henry. Goes for goal and Bradley Henry has scored! Out of nowhere, Melbourne City have put their mark on this game and now they're up 3-0. Policina goes again, hits the crossbar, Hannah Wilkinson with the follow-up. And it is a fourth goal for Melbourne City. Hannah Wilkinson on the follow-up from a shot from Rihanna Policina. And they have four on the board today. And that is the end of the game. Melbourne City, a dominant performance in possession and shots. Newcastle Jets, a strong defensive performance in them. It is Newcastle nil, Melbourne City four. It's over to Sky Stadium next as Brisbane Raw make the journey to New Zealand. Last time these two faced each other, we were treated to a 3-3 thriller. But the visitors are without two Matildas today with Katrina Gorry and Larissa Crummer out injured. Calling the action is Daniel McCarty and Annalie Longo. And it's changed the point of attack. Barry brought down unceremoniously by India Page Riley. Again, that switch ball from Foster, finding the opposite fullback. I know the Phoenix can be very dangerous from set play. Foster's waiting for the whistle. Delivers. And it's fucked into the back of the net. How about that? Taylor, is it? Who's got the touch? They're all celebrating. again delivery inch perfect but how about that header the phoenix power in front connors one 
United States player to another. One is a speedy, dangerous run here into an area where she tries to pick it across the face of goal. Went down heavily under challenge. Too close to Edwards. Barry drops the hip and then plays the ball nicely down that right wing side. Robertson should take a touch. No early ball in. Comes out to Hassett. Clegg. She cuts back. She shoots near post. That's a very good reaction save. Strong right hand turns it around the corner and keeps the score at 1 0. The Phoenix have not put them away just yet. Not. Ball forward, wants to try to get there, does indeed. Clips it back, Wisniewski takes a touch, shoots just wide. Nice piece of play from the Wellington Phoenix. Fighting the run of Clegg out wide, takes a touch on the outside this time. Again looks for the cutback, finds the feet of Wisniewski. Just can't quite get that one on target with that left foot shot. Skews it wide. Nice hit at that. Robertson handcuffs backtracking. What's Robinson going to do? I wondered if she would try the audacious attempt to lift it high over the tall keeper. Here's a dig ball over the top. Connors, she's in on goal. She shoots and she buries her chance. And the Raw level this one up against the run of play. It's a it cruel is, it is, game. It is. it is a cruel game. Connors has been the danger woman all day for the Brisbane Roar. Again, showing her pace, composed on the finish, puts it into the back of the net. It's the final act of the game. Both players drop to their knees. The faces sum it up. It's a result neither of them would have wanted. The finishes, the Wellington Phoenix won, Brisbane Roar won. Join us after the break as we conclude the highlights from the Liberty A-League. Welcome back to the Liberty A-League Highlight Show. A Sunday Arvo blockbuster next up. First v second as Western United travel to Sydney in what could end up being massive in the race for the Premier's plate. Western United are six points clear of Sydney in second, but the Sky Blues have two games in hand. Teo Palazzeri and Grace Gill call the top of the table clash. Real physicality from Keane, able to shrug Charlotte McLean, now takes on Delahart, switching through the box, and it was a tap-in chance for Weston. And Danielle Steer smacks the turf in frustration because she knows that should have been 1-0 to the visiting team. Taranto was there, and the knockback didn't arrive before Tobin did. And now Sydney FC in a really stretched game. They can flip the field here. It's three on two, a question of execution. Courtney Vine to the edge of the box. And now Hawksby in space, saved by Beal onto the crossbar. Thrilling end-to-end -end football. Well, that is some counter-attack there from Sydney FC. Vine to Tobin. Tobin lifts a high ball. Vine following up. Here's the shot from Vine. It's wide. Hilary Beal still dived after it just in case, but then pulled the arms out of the way late. Here's Charlie's rule. Slides it to Rachel Lowe. The cut across to the near post. Hits the side netting. And a long ball up to Wyman here. 30 seconds of regulation to go in what has been a fascinating first half between the top two teams. The throw out. Hunter crashed in. Advantage given. Oh, there's no advantage there. And the Western bench are going to blow up here if Sydney go down the other end and score. Fenton sliding it to Courtney Vine. They might just score, you know. Vine through the right, a quick head check, and then stops and props and cuts it back. And it's turned away by Sato. The follow up from Fenton is over the bar. And there's a yellow card there as well. Incredibly, Sydney could have scored from a passage of play where their own player received a yellow card and there was an advantage in the build up. Bought out of the air by Cummings. Now Adriana Taranto, a blind spin and pass, picks out Rule. Hawksby has Courtney Vine over on the right. And Vine hits it underneath. Flag stays down this time for Rachel Lowe! Sydney strike in the battle for the Premiership! 
and it's Rachel Lowe that puts the Sky Blues into a 1-0 lead. Well, what a cool, calm, composed finish that was from Rachel Lowe. A wonderful early ball through from Courtney Vine. Rachel Lowe, she's had a little look up, assessed her options, and that is a really neat finish. Sato, who does have a yellow card, leaves the game. And Tiana Javert previously played for Western Sydney Wanderers and also Newcastle most recently. As Sydney FC through the right side and Vine. Lowe again! A double for Rachel Lowe! Through the gap, Courtney Vine lays off the assist. And this purple patch of form for Rachel Lowe is sending the Sky Blues top of the league. That was really neat there by Sydney FC. And well picked up once more from Courtney Vine. And it's this partnership, Courtney Vine, Rachel Lowe. Vine does so well to cut that back and find Lowe. He just checks her shoulder in the middle of the box. And oh, that's a neat build up from Sydney FC. Well taken finish, well taken goal. Vine's back. Hawksby, Hunter. And Beal didn't get fingertips on it. It kept rising. Just a goal kick. Able to get through the challenge of Rovers here and play it out into space. Abini looms large. Lifts across in. Lee for a hat trick. She's missed the volley. Well, oh, that could have been three for Rachel Lowe and three points for Sydney FC. And throws the head back in frustration at missing out. And now Hawksby's into space but wants to play the pass. Abini. Low is lurking. Abini might go solo here. Princess Abini bearing down on goal. And is not able to get it past Hillary Beale. And you've got to credit CERN because the shot was going off target. Western United looking a bit out of answers at present. Tobin, a long diagonal. Abini's been threatening all half. Abini! It was inevitable! It's three for Sydney FC. Princess Abini starts the celebrations. And it will be a sky blue day in this meeting of the top two on the table. Well, Princess Abini has well and truly come to life in this second 45 minutes. And again, it's Nat Tobin at the base of this play. A delightful ball over the top. And Abini on her left foot. Hillary Beal has been excellent today, but that is a really well taken finish from Abini. Yeah, look, I, I find it really hard to look past the performance of Rachel Lowe this afternoon, even in the first half when she hadn't put those goals away. She was still looking to create. Free kick given here. More confusion. I've got to say, and, and you know, I'm, I'm fairly uh, accommodating of, of referees. They're all human, but some of the... It's a, it's a second yellow card and Nat Tobin's going to be sent off here was booked earlier in the game. Well, well, well. Nat Tobin sees red, and that is a sour ending for Sydney FC because it's the second time this season that the Sydney FC captain has been sent off. This will all come down to game management here for Sydney, just to see out the clock. And that clock has expired. It's Sydney FC who moved back into favouritism for top spot. And it's Sydney FC 3, Western United nil. Western Sydney Wanderers travel to Macedonia Park on the west coast to finish round 19. Perth Glory hold their finals fate in their own hands, win all their remaining games and they could well finish fourth. Ben Homer is calling the action. Sophie Harding off the crossbar. Well, we saw that last week from Harding. She rattles Perth's cage very early on. And Serena Bolden just getting in behind for the moment. Let Fletta keeping an eye on her. And Bolden will shoot and flashes across the face of goal. She'll very nearly have the most appearances as Claire Hunt. That's a poor turnover. What an opportunity here for Sakalis. Lays it off to Hinson. And Perth Glory, so close to opening the scoring and it would have well and truly come against the run of play. And it was Claire Hunt, the captain, just trying to run it out of defence. The more dangerous opportunities, you'd probably hand that to Western Sydney. Hinson had a good opportunity for Perth Glory. 
Harrison just opens up here for Amy Harrison. Just wouldn't drop fast enough for the former Matilda. It's going to be really tense over the last month as Harding testing out Aquino, producing another fantastic save out of Morgan Aquino. Anna Lowry bending it in dangerously again. That time a little too close to Bloomer. Really assured in goals. And now turned over by Western Sydney. Real chance here for Perth Glory. And there is the opening goal. And can you believe it? For the first time in the Liberty A-League, in match number 90, Tash Rigby has scored the captain. And what a moment to put Perth Glory in front. Harding. And Sophie Harding striding towards goal. After the intervention from Serena Bolden, she pushes it wide. She was dinking it into space. Anton put under pressure. Harding is off. Sophie Harding, she deserves a goal. She's not going to get one, but she's going to get a penalty. And Morgan Aquino is going to go into the book. And Harrison equalizes for Western Sydney. They are not done yet. Her third of the campaign after Aquino gave away the penalty. And now Perth down the other end to potentially win it. Hannah Blake with a chance to make herself a Perth glory hero. 17 previous times these clubs have met in this competition. They've never finished deadlocked. Here's today the day. Or can Perth Glory snatch a last gasp winner? Blake towards Hinson Hunt with the critical intervention. And there it is. It is history in the Liberty A-League. The first time in the competition's history. Perth Glory and Western Sydney Wanderers split the points. Before we head off, let's take a look at what this week's results mean for the Liberty A-League table. Western United remain at the summit, but Sydney FC are just one win off the top of the table with two games in hand. Canberra United have won four on the trot to draw level with Melbourne victory on points. But in a massive twist to the top four race, Canberra United is currently appealing a decision by the governing body to dock them points as a result of fielding an ineligible player in their clash with Sydney FC in February. The result of that appeal could have big ramifications for the finals race. So watch this space and we'll see you soon for more Liberty A-League action.